All right, joined by Lamont Thomas, Providence native. He played at Central. Jay Wu, Hall of Famer, new today, a GNAC Hall of Famer, just came back from Spain where you play professionally. All right, we're going to talk about the Play for Peace tour on Saturday uh, at Johnson in Wales. This is the fifth year. Um, really an impressive thing that you've created the last couple of years. What can you tell us about it? Um, I pretty much just wanted to bring that New York basketball atmosphere mm -hmm. to Rhode Island um, and being away with a lot of time on my hands, graduating from Johnson and Wales in event management. I took all this experience and knowledge and I put it together and I figured I'd come home each and every summer and mm -hmm. put something together that can last forever. How is it, you know, managing which players to get in here and drumming up interest for it and um, how does the, the, the group of guys look for this weekend? Um, the group of guys looks good. Um, I'm still getting DMs and messages <laughs> guys wanting to play. I've ran out of uniforms though, but it shows me that it's, it's becoming more exclusive as far as yeah. professional players and hopefully it can build and we can get some continuous NBA guys there each and every year. Yeah, so some of the guys that have been there in the past, some of the guys that are there this weekend, uh, what kind of names or guys that they're familiar with? Um, we have like local star Ricky Lito, you yep. know, Jeff Xavier, Xavier Mumford, uh, Kadeem Batts has played, mm -hmm. Delroy James. Um, Kyle Casey. Um, so you have to, are you, are you recruiting these guys all year long pretty much? Pretty like, much. Hey, I need you in Rhode Island in late June. Exactly, exactly. So um, what is this event, what does it do for the community? Why did you want to do it and how does it benefit those locally? I mean, I think it does various things in the community. This is like the McDonald's All-American game for Rhode Island. You know, yep. you have the Rhode Island high school guys who are looking forward to playing mm -hmm. in the showcase game each and every year. And then you have those kids who are now nine and eight years old who are looking to be professionals. So they, a kid came up to me and said, I can't wait to play in the Play for Peace when yeah. I get older. So it's inspiration, honestly. That's great. So uh, who was an inspiration for you growing up? Why did you decide to give back? And uh, A lot of local community people who are still in the community, like Corey Brown, uh, Cedric Huntley, my old coach, Jamie Benton. Mm -hmm. um, and the list goes on. You know, Juan Carter from the Institute of Nonviolence. Those are some of the main guys that were in my corner who've been pushing me um, in the community. Tell us about your, your most recent season in Spain and uh, continuing to make a living overseas doing what you love. Uh, I just played in Santander, Spain in the Spanish Silver Division, which is the third league, but really respected in, in Europe. And uh, I led the league in assists. We've had a pretty good year. Um, and now I'm just home, pretty much waiting my options for the next year. So the whirlwind of like switching leagues and, and seeing where you're at, it, is it sort of a crazy lifestyle? Yeah. Crossing seas, being yeah. in Europe, being here, maybe not knowing where you're playing next year? Yeah, it's like a lot of anxiety. I wake <laughs> up and sometimes I can't sleep because I don't yeah. know what's next. So this is why I try to put my energy and my mind towards Play for Peace. So when I'm home, I have a lot of free time on my hands, so I keep busy and I try to live like I'm not a professional athlete right now because sure. it's not guaranteed, you know right. what I mean? In August, I start to train really hard for the professional level again, and I, of course, stay in shape, but right now, I put a lot of my yeah. time towards the Play for Peace tour. And there's some camps for kids later in the summer? Yep, uh, I do a camps all summer at George Alvarez High School, um, July 8th through July 12th, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. We provide lunch, we train, Ricky Lito comes through. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of guys going in who are playing college basketball from Rhode Island in and out the gym throughout the week. So it's a great basketball environment to be around. All right, looking forward to uh, this weekend and later in the summer. Lamont, thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.